This is Miss Killinan and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to talk about how to just start designing an experiment. Um, we've spent a little bit of time talking about what science is and so the next step is to think about how we do science and really that is about designing an experiment. Below I'm going to go through some ideas about how to do that, how to design an experiment. So the first thing we do as scientists is usually we notice something that happened and we write a problem that we want to solve. The problem is really a question that describes the experiment to be performed. For the type of experiments we will be doing this trimester, the problem will generally be in the form of how does blank affect blank. This first blank, number one, is where we put what is known as the independent variable and how does it affect number two, which is called the dependent variable. We'll talk about those variables in just a little bit, but let me give you an example. This is maybe something that you are thinking about these days as we start trimester two. Maybe you're thinking about something like how does doing homework affect my grade? So this is something that maybe now as we start a new trimester you're thinking about. And so what we can do is we can think about the experimental pieces of this question. So after we have a problem that we're going to think about, we write a hypothesis. So the idea of a hypothesis as a scientist is it's your idea about the outcome or the result or the answer of that problem question. So what do you think will happen in the experiment and why do you think that will happen? It is usually in the format of if I do this, then this will be the answer because why I think that. So the first blank is the change you are going to make to that independent variable. So remember our independent variable was the thing we filled in in our problem, which in this case was doing homework. So this would be something like if I do homework on time every night, that would be the change, the change that we will make in our independent variable. Then the next part says then what your prediction is about what will happen to that dependent variable. So if I do homework on time every night, then my grade will improve. So maybe compared to whatever it was before, your grade will improve. That's our prediction. And then the last part is the because. The reason can be based on either concepts that we've learned in class up to this time of the experiment, or experiences you've had in the real world that make you believe what it was that you predicted. Your hypothesis could also include graphs or other things that are written about your hypothesis. So let's finish this one. So if I do homework on time every night, that's the change, then what you think is gonna happen, my grade will improve because last trimester, I did not do homework in my math class and my grade was very low. So that would be an idea of using a real world experience and being specific about what happened and why you predicted this. So you decided that if I change, then I will get a different result because of something that I experienced before. So your hypothesis is those three parts and it answers this question, the problem that we established. Now we already mentioned variables a little bit. Let's talk more about that next. So identifying the variables in an experiment, variables are really like the things or quantities or factors in an experiment that we can measure control or manipulate or change in our research. The independent variable is the variable in the experiment that the experimenter chooses to change on purpose. Here's a way to think about it. The independent variable starts with the letter I, so think of it as the thing that I am changing. So in this little experiment, the independent variable is doing homework. Oops, doing homework every night. So that's the thing that we are changing on purpose. So independent is what I am doing on purpose. The dependent variable is, in the experiment, is what we think will change because we change something else. We change the independent variable. It is affected by the change in the independent variable. There may be many possible dependent variables in the experiment, but the one we choose to focus on is the one we call the dependent variable. So for example, in this little homework thing, there could be other stuff that happens 
because we're doing homework, maybe we watch less TV or maybe we see our friends less or maybe we don't get as much sleep. Those are all things that could change, but the thing we care about is affecting the grade. So the P dependent variable is your grade in the class. So we don't know how it's going to change. We think we know, but we're not sure yet. And so the other thing is that we want to do is the constants. So the constants are the things in an experiment that the scientists try to keep the same because they may affect the outcome of an experiment even though the experiment doesn't want them to. The scientists will try to keep the value of these variables constant, which means keep it the same, so that they will not affect the outcome. There could be a lot of these. So let's think of this idea, the homework thing. So maybe this is something like uh, attendance in class needs to stay the same because if you don't come to class that could definitely change your grade in a different way attendance in class paying attention in class um, even things like the amount of sleep um, eating healthy <laughs> all of these things could affect your grade because if you get sick then maybe you're not in class and maybe that makes it harder to pay attention if you're sleepy you won't pay attention so even if you're doing your homework all of those things could affect what we're doing but we're trying to keep all of this stuff the same and the only thing we're trying to change is doing homework that's your independent because we change that on purpose and then we hope that we'll see a grade improvement or at least some sort of change so those ideas, writing a problem, which is really just a question that we're trying to answer, writing a hypothesis, which is what do we think the answer will be to that question, and then identifying the variables, the things that I change on purpose, the things that change because of what I did, and the things we're trying to keep constant, those are all the things we think about when we start to design a science experiment. So what I want you to do now is I want you to just process this idea a little bit, and I want you to do the 3 2, one assignment, which you can find on your Schoology account. Thanks for listening. Bye.